All right, the aim of today's announcement was confidence, and confidence is exactly what the government will have given businesses today. This package is huge. It will reassure those small and medium-sized businesses who might not have large reserves of cash to be able to pay their staff when work stops abruptly. Now, if there is criticism of this package, it's that large and complex businesses miss out here. This is not much help to any employer with more than 20 staff, because, of course, the wage subsidy is capped at $150,000 per business, so any business with more than about 21 staff is is going to blow that cap before the 20 uh, before the 12 weeks is through and big businesses are being told to go to their banks first while the government looks at what to do to help them as something of a last resort but there will be big businesses who will be brought to their knees by this crisis and might need help think travel agents with more than 20 staff think hotel chains restaurant chains list goes on still it's worth remembering this is clearly just the first in what will be a rolling series of responses so expect an aviation package later this week and expect more spending in the budget in may this was, though, a good reassuring move from the government. It is almost twice the size of Australia's package, relative, of course, to the size of the economy. And it's six times more generous to business in wage subsidies than the Australian government was. As far as first steps go, the government just knocked this one out of the park. <laughs>